Hello, this is Lazy Ray Finkel bringing you another Natural State Mini Doc. Now, when you think of Arkansas, what comes to mind? Bill Clinton, Rice, Sam Walton, most likely. But I bet you never thought anime would ever have a home here in the Natural State. Well, it does at the Arkansas Anime Festival, also known as A2F. I was at my local comic book store, and yes, we do have those down here, when I noticed a pamphlet for the festival and decided, an anime festival in Arkansas? I gotta see this. For those of you out there who don't know what anime is or what goes on at an anime convention, let's see if we can't find someone to tell us more. My name is Michelinda Smith. Right. Anime right. started out as a Japanese cartoon in Japan. Uh, adults are interested in cartoon as well as, as uh, children. Mm -hmm. uh, but here in America, it's become kind of a free-for-all. Children can be whatever they want to be. Uh, and they can be children, even up as old as you want to be. We have adults who come in in full costume. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's games, there's vendors, there's artists. There's all kinds of things you can do here. And how long does the Arkansas Anime Festival go on? We do it for two days, twice a year. This is our fall festival. We'll have another one in the spring. It's wonderful. It is so interesting what the kids wear, how the kids act. There is so much excitement and fun and games. There was, what was that game they played out here yesterday all by themselves? Ninja. Ninja. Uh, we probably had 10, 15 teenage girls playing a game called Ninja out here in the lobby that was just okay. unbelievable. And it's good, yeah, innocent you know. fun. It's been pretty clean and decent, family friendly. Almost. Oh, we try to keep it very family friendly. We have a lot of security. We have very strong rules. If anything happens, even including indecency, if a costume is not what we consider appropriate, the person is asked to put on more clothing. Uh, everything is very family friendly. We actually have a parent pass. Anybody who wants to bring their kids can come in and for one hour they can walk around and see whatever they want to. They can see what their kids are seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't even have to pay anything. They can just come check it out. Cool. I arrived at the Clarion Hotel in Bentonville ready for my first convention ever. I got there just as the cosplay contest was starting. Now, for those of you out there who don't know what cosplaying is, basically that's when someone dresses up as their favorite character, in this case from an anime book, television series, movie, or video game but they also allowed original character creations as well. When their name was called, they took the stage and had a few seconds set aside so they could either strike a pose, maybe make a speech from their favorite video game, maybe do a little dance as Michael Jackson. Let's look at some of my favorites. Didn't the pharaoh say that his power comes from his leather shoes? Darn it! Others tried for the more... Wait a minute, that's Tron. Tron's not anime related. And neither is Rorschach. What's Rorschach doing here? Well, they're both very nice costumes, so it's all good. And congratulations to Christmas Time Soar for winning first place. After the cosplay contest, some time was set aside for sketch shows to be put on by the patrons of A2F. Let's see what we got. Okay, funny looking guy with an umbrella. Oh, sneaking up behind him. Black feather. Um, he sees her. Black feathers. Okay, I am so lost. Someone please tell me, please tell me what just happened. No, 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 come back. Don't, don't leave me, don't leave me. Taking the stage next was Samurai Dan and Lady Melinda, giving us history lessons on the ancient samurai and their fighting techniques. Renoa Hardly here in the blue was called upon to assist, but I don't think her heart was quite into it. As anything Japanese translates? Sujigiri means peasant cutting. Renoa did step down as the test subject, but not before receiving a few prizes. Now on to the action. Jamie number one, for you, your leg. Up next was the date auction for the Midnight Mask Rave Dance Party, with half the proceeds going to Pets Haven, a local no-kill animal rescue shelter. So it's win-win. You get a date to the dance, and you get to save some puppies and kitties. Did you really need another reason to donate? Trick question. No, you didn't. 15. I cook, I clean, I slice, I dice, I do whatever you want me to. Just find me. Don't let all the good-natured fun and smiling faces fool you. As the prices went up, so did the tensions. In fact, it could get so thick, you could cut it with a gun blade. 
Wow, I have been hanging around these people way too much. I'm gonna be your exotic entertainment tonight. Ten dollars. Eleven. Twenty-two. Twenty-five. Uh, Thirty-seven dollars. Now, you might be asking yourself, is this all there is to do at A2F? Firstly, yes, I can hear you through the monitor. Secondly, no, there's plenty to do and see. They've got panel rooms discussing your favorite anime shows, learning Japanese, learning about the history of anime, and autographs featuring the voice actors of your favorite anime. I grew up watching some of these shows, so you know I was there. Oh, Miss Hart, you are a trip. Don't ever change. Thank you go. Thank you You're welcome. They had game rooms for your favorite tabletop game or board games, LARPing, we'll get into that later, and a video game room featuring your favorite video games that require too much coordination and skill that I do not have. Booths were set up for books, movies, jewelry, costumes, snacks, clothes, figurines, and artwork. Speaking of artwork, here we have James, selling his wares. It's not anime, but it's pretty darn good if I may say so myself. Another patron worth mentioning was Aaron Dotson of Klondike Images, ready to take a picture of you dressed as a samurai warrior or a six-foot Pikachu. And how could I forget the proprietor of art, food, fun, face, and body painting, Christina. She does artwork, makes steampunk jewelry, sells products such as snake oil hand sanitizer, and VitaFizz. She even made me a wicked drink called Liquid Fizz, which is chock full of all the vitamins a growing boy needs. <laughs> Hmm, now I'm worried. Oh well. Lachayim. Oh, I'm awake. Thanks, Christina. I appreciate it. And now for the mask raid. It started out with some slow waltzing, followed by a few popular video game themes. Thriller, of course. You gotta have thriller. And then, DJ Azrael took the stage, and I assure you, the place was bumping. And with any large gathering of dancing people, you know the conga line is bound to appear. And keep going. And still going. Good grief, I don't think the creator of the conga line had a line this huge in mind. Ah, uh, yes, when you get a large group of people together and throw in a camera, everybody's got something to say. This reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> I'm Sierra Peon, and that was all right. Since I'm old and have a strict bedtime schedule to keep, I didn't kick it with the kids all night, so I turned in. Next morning, I started the day off right with some OJ and LARP. That's live action role playing for you newbies out there. This is where gamers can physically act out gaming scenarios instead of just playing them on the big screen. So we gotta duel this guy, he looks like he's got some skills. Oh come on, hit- oh, well dude, you brought that on yourself, man. I think it's safe to say a fun time has been had by all here at A2F, and I think it would be best to say thanks to everyone that helped make this festival a possibility. One person that deserves a great deal of gratitude is Jim Fairchild, who, sadly, we could not thank in person. I mean, they were on it. They had the chairs cleared, the water bottles out, all kinds of cool stuff. We, uh, we had a fellow that worked on that staff, and his name was Jim Fairchild. And I'm going to try real hard not to cry and tell you guys that he was killed a few days after our show. And I fail at not crying. <laughs> Either way, Jim meant a lot to us, even though we barely, barely got to know him. He worked side by side with Courtney, which is why she's not up here. He meant an awful lot to a whole lot of the crew of the Clarion, his friends, and his family. And he was an animal lover, so I automatically had to like him. But we wanted to take a few small minutes and say thank you to Jim. Indeed, thank you, Jim. And thanks to everyone at A2F and the Clarion for making this year one of the best. I'll end this documentary by saying this. Should you find yourself in Arkansas, looking for something to do off the already beaten path, or if you just like anime, then check out the Arkansas Anime Festival. This is Lazy Ray Finkel, signing out. Thank you, America! Batman away!